Hey everyone, James here from MG Reviews. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Take and Play. For the first time, I'm actually taking a look at Rex from the Arsdale Railway, or, the, or Rex the Miniature Engine, or as it says on the box. So I picked this up for, the press on the back, £9. And I just happened to come across this engine, so I decided just to pick it up, because why not? I don't know if I'll ever use the miniature engines in something, as they are just a little bit smaller than Wooden Railway, but if I ever did, it'll be Wooden Railway, Narrow Gauge, Tomy engines, and Take and Play miniature engines is the best way you could do it. And yet, yeah, this is actually a pain to get into. I've been wanting to unbox it for ages. And oh my god, it's tiny. That's what she said! <laughs> It's absolutely tiny. That's what she said. Let's let's just pull up them here. And yeah, this is the only bit of burr. Oh, no, it's Rex. It's Rex. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That has ever properly been made, I think. But let's just start with the tender. As you can see, it says Arsdale. And it is absolutely tiny. It can basically fit in the palm of my hand, same with well, both of the engines and they are legit tiny. They've got wooden railway magnets, if I ever want to do something with them wait. but they're more inverted than ever so it's a, bit, it's a bit of a pain mostly then I can use the wooden railway engines for a, tip, for a bit of a laugh now, as you can see, it says Arsdale on the tender. It's all in lime green, so it's the same colour as Henry, Duck, Oliver, Percy. Just to name some engines. And it's got red lining around the tender. You can't see it, but it's got red lining around, like, the Arlesborough. Arsdale, no back printing. And, yep, it's the same on the other side. But if we look at the top, no, no, no. You can see he's coal, and you can see where he gets filled up with water. Next, yeah, these engines are really proper chunky, and as the magnets are completely chunky, I don't know what forced Mattel to do looking these type of magnets, but you know. But let's just start at the frith, at the front. So he has six small wheels, all in green, even though it's supposed to be like, I don't know what engine it's based on, but it does look a bit like Henry's old shape, which I'm not going to tease anything, because I don't want to. Face, the face does look a lot like... Rex and just there you can actually see it does say Rex and I don't know what that's supposed to be on the side so for his piston that's that's where his pistons go on the wheels as well he's also in the same green as the tender with red lining a printed handrail on the side in silver I don't know what this gold bit is supposed to be I think that's for where it used to be of the year it was built that so you can see that's not his whistle I don't think no that's not his whistle but you can kind of see and it is the same on the other side and yeah that is that's rex basically the next one we'll be looking at is bert or mike i don't know which one but when we do we can all say we can never overlook a little engine especially with how small they are can you just see it's like the side of it it's elements and then you can pull off Never will a little engine. But this has been me giving you all another review. I hope you all did enjoy it. We will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.